Hello students welcome to maths class I am Hemlata Negi of Jagran Public School Lucknow and today I am going to explain you fractions What is fraction when we divide an object into equal parts then each part is called a fraction we can also say that fractions are equal parts or share of a whole let me explain you this with an example of an apple here a whole apple has been cut equally into two different parts each part is called half one piece out of total pieces is called one half uses of fractions fractions are used in many places in our everyday lives they are important any time we want to share something equally measure a part of something or even tell time look at these pictures carefully see the use of fractions in each sentence you will understand these terms like half three quarters quarter past 8 and two and a half year old only when you will know what fractions are one half when a whole object is cut or divided into two equal parts then each part is called a half children as you can see here a whole circle has been cut or divided into two equal parts each part is called 1 by 2 or half one half means one part out of two equal parts of a whole circle note the fraction 1 by 2 carefully here you will see that 1 is the number at the top it is called numerator a numerator shows how many parts are there in the fraction 2 is the number at the bottom this number is called the denominator it shows the number of parts the whole is cut or divided into a line separates these two numbers in the middle this line is called a fractional bar or division bar sometimes we use a slash instead of a line to show a fraction now let's do a worksheet in this worksheet you have to color half of these given shapes you can color a shade any one part to show half 1/3 or 1 by 3 when a whole object is cut or divided into three equal parts then each part is called 1/3 as you can see in the figure below a whole rectangle has been cut or divided into three equal parts each part is called 1/3 or 1 by 3 it is written as 1 by 3 and read as 1/3 1/3 means one part out of three equal parts of a whole When you see this fraction 1 by 3 you will see that 3 is the number at the bottom which is also called denominator it shows the number of parts a whole is cut or divided into 1 is the number at the top which is also called numerator a numerator shows how many parts are there in the 
fraction. Therefore, 1 by 3 shows that the whole has been cut or divided into 3 equal parts and we are taking out only one part. Another worksheet to be solved. In this worksheet, you can see that all these shapes have been divided or cut into three equal parts. So you have to shade any one part to show one third. Quarter or one fourth. To understand quarter or one fourth, we will cut or divide a whole object into four equal parts. Here, each part will be called one-fourth or quarter of the whole. As you can see here, one whole square has been cut or divided into four equal parts. So each part will be called a quarter or one-fourth. It is written as 1 by 4 and read as 1 fourth or quarter. Remember, a quarter is one part out of four equal parts of a whole. In the fraction 1 by 4, the number at the bottom is 4, which is also called denominator and shows the number of parts a whole is divided or cut into. The number at the top is 1, which is also called numerator, and shows how many parts are there in the fraction. Therefore, 1 by 4 shows that the whole has been cut or divided into 4 equal parts, and we are taking out or shading only one part. Another worksheet to be solved. In this worksheet, you can see that all these shapes have been divided into four equal parts. Children, you can color or shade any one part to show one fourth or quarter. Some more examples of fractions. When you look at these figures with the colored part, you will see that this square has been divided into four equal parts and only two parts have been colored. It can be represented as 2 by 4 and can be read as 2 fourths. In the second example, this whole circle has been divided into three equal parts. Two parts combined together to represent two thirds. We express two thirds by the symbol two by three. When you look at the third example, this rectangle has been divided into six equal parts, from which only one part is colored. This fraction may be expressed as 1 by 6 and can be read as 1 sixth. In the last example, the diamond shape has been divided into four equal parts. Three parts combined together to represent three-fourths. We express three-fourths by the symbol three by four. Children, I hope now you all have understood what fractions are. These are two activity sheets for you. In the first activity sheet, you have to write the fraction of the colored part. Let's do the first question together. Here you can see that the whole circle has been divided into eight equal parts and one portion is colored. So the fraction will be 
1 by 8 and it will be read as 1 eighths. Please try and get all the answers correct. In the second activity sheet, you have to circle the correct fraction from the given three choices. The answer to the first question is 1 by 2. Please try and get all the answers correct. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. Thank you.